Our interview today is with Mr. Richard Morrow. We are at the 55th reunion of the class of 1951 from Mooresville. And Mr. Morrow is a member of that class and he's giving us an interview to tell about Morrow Brothers here in Mooresville uh, and life growing up in Mooresville. Thank you, Mr. Morrow. Oh, well. Okay, as far as Mara Brothers, my uncle Emmett Mara had tuberculosis uh, as a teenager and spent a lot of years at the Huntersville Tuberculosis Sanitarium and studied electronics, uh, how they were studied in that day. And when he came back to Mooresville in 1938, he started a radio store and my father, who had been working in the in the uh, laundry at Davidson College, joined him in 1938, and they set up a business in the old commercial hotel beside where uh, John and Mary Frances and Jack Archer lived, uh, and it was in the commercial hotel through World War II. Then they moved to a building uh, uh, about two doors down from the intersection of Central uh, of Center Avenue and Main Street, and were there for several years. Then moved to the old uh, uh, Mayhew and McNeely Mercantile Building on the corner of Central of uh, Center Street and uh, Main Street, and they were there for oh probably more than 20 years. That building had been built by the Mayhew family about 1898 or 1899, and uh, as we had lunch today in the Soiree restaurant, I noted that the original Park Pine floors were still in that same building there. Uh, the, build, the store was originally a radio store, then an appliance store, and they added furniture about 1950, and the store lasted until about 1968 when it was sold to uh, uh, Jim Suit. Uh, so that uh, it was uh, appliances first, and then, uh, and then uh, furniture was added later. I noted that the two elevators in that building are still there, including the old hand cranked elevator, which you pulled a rope for it to go up and down. And I can remember unloading half railroad cars with appliances and pulling on those ropes to take them up to the second store to be stored where we had 20 or 30 refrigerators at a time as well as uh, mattresses and springs and all the other appliances that were stored upstairs. That was a busy day when the railroad car came in. Uh, the store eventually uh, was closed and I don't know how long Jim Suit kept it. Let's see. Okay, Ann, what else do you want to know? some of the people who worked for Mara Brothers? Okay. Uh, actually, Paul and Emmett were partners. My mother, Crosby Hager Mara, was the secretary, and when they incorporated, she was still the corporate secretary, which means bookkeeper, as, as well as sales, and we all did everything. Uh, probably the longest, longest lasting employee besides my uncle by marriage, Bill Earnhardt, uh, was Ronald Livengood, who was a uh, repairman. Uh, other persons who worked in the store were uh, uh, Laurie Hastings, a distant cousin, and before that, before World War II, oh, let me see, Lewis Robinson, Ralph Hillard, and a third person whose name won't come to me uh, off the tip of my tongue. All three of those went into the Navy during World War II. I can remember that one of the things Lewis remembered, having worked on an ammunition ship in the Pacific, is being in port and a Japanese submarine came in and uh, Lewis Robinson's sister ammunition ship disappeared. Uh, he came back to Mooresville and, and worked with my father and my uncle for a few years after that. Ralph Hiller did not return to Mooresville after World War II. Uh, let's see. Those were the primary employees during about all that period that come to mind off the top of my head. 
Is there anything else that, that stands out in your memory from being from, or obviously you as a child, you, I mean as a teenager, you worked there, it was a family business. Does anything come out, stand out in your mind if you talk about the, loading the things to the upstairs, anything else? Well, uh, I started working there on Saturdays when I was about 12 years old, and my job was to dust everything in the store. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things I remember about it. Uh, of course, we delivered a lot of appliances, and uh, one of the things I remember about the clock over that huge safe in the back of the store was our motto, and we service everything we sell. The safe probably weighed about 1,500 pounds. It would make dents in that hard pine floor if and when it had to be moved. There was never any danger of it being uh, stolen. I don't know what happened to it after Jim Soup took it over, but it was it was a monster. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, one of the things I can remember that I learned to drive backing up uh, a 1940 Ford pickup truck and uh, that was a mainstay during World War II as far as transportation for the store. I don't know why that came to mind. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Moore. I'm not going to keep you any more of your time because I know you're having a high school reunion, but I do appreciate it. Thank you sure so much. Thing.